and interesting predators at the same time quite an unusual one uh, but not that unusual where he's obscure and it's going to be let's uh, let's run it along a little bit and it's the old I tell you what the Ohio stings produced some crackers didn't they I think um, Jeff Stacy was there wasn't he Pretending to be the young girl waves him in the decoy is really a member of an online watchdog group Perverted Justice, which we hired to do what they normally do, go into chat rooms and think I'm a cop. At first, I don't tell him who I am. The decoy is really a member of an online world. That's okay. It's kind of weird to find just because it's on the corner. And do you know who it reminds me of? This Jay Refner chap. I don't know whether it's the way he speaks. I think it's more his voice. He reminds me of Toby Maguire. Like a podgy perverted version of Toby Stuff, Maguire. You know? But instead of being greeted oh, by a child, in a he meets me. Do you have a hard time finding the place? Not at all. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. What can I do for you? <laughs> now this this surprises me. It comes, it's like, oh, who's this guy? What can I do for you? It's like, does it not twig that you're in a bad position here? And he's like, oh, hang on a minute. What can I do for you? I'm like, it, it's kind of an arrogant way of approaching it, isn't it? He obviously doesn't think there's any danger. I don't think he really... Obviously, he doesn't know what's going on, but it just surprises me to say, oh, what can I do for you? In an arrogant kind of way, as if to say, what the fuck are you doing here? You know, I'm, getting, I'm, I'm trying to shag a kid here. Fuck off. But no, what can I do for you? Like most of the men who come in the door, this man agrees to talk. He may think I'm a cop. At first, I don't tell him who I am. And of course, he doesn't know our hidden cameras are rolling. Turns out, Meat Rocket 8 is Jay Refner, a computer specialist at a university. A married man with children. Oh, look at it. So he's got, he's married, he's got a shit up job. And don't forget, this is the guy whose mother is a senior prosecutor, I believe. And his father was a police officer of some kind so he comes from a decent family uh and he's thrown it all away got a family at home i love them dearly this <laughs> this surprises me as well um i've got a family at home i love them dearly he's explaining it to chris he obviously thinks chris is some kind of law enforcement at this point you can't love your family that dearly though if you're doing this can you i mean it's absolutely crazy <laughs> what on earth is this guy and look at the way he's dressed look at that shit jacket I mean what's all that about why would you Lawn's dr Lawn was dressed better than him you know you have kids yes how old are you see this this always just kind of makes me a little sad it's like we can laugh at these guys because they deserve to have the piss taken out of them but it's always the families just think if there's like a little girl a six or seven year old suddenly that guy's gone from alive completely in most cases and they'll be too young to understand what's happened can you imagine can you imagine what the what the wife must think when they find out it's like if the cops called or you called and said i've been arrested you generally think oh no he's been drink driving or he's been in a fight but oh no he's tried to shag a 13 year old imaginary person i don't think you'd ever be able to get your head around that it must destroy if someone genuinely loved this guy, and I find it hard to believe, they the the whole outlook on life may have changed because of this. I have one daughter. I have one daughter from my wife's previous marriage. Uh, what is that voice all about? Oh, it's like he's putting it on, isn't it? Uh, Sons from my wife's previous marriage. Uh, he says he's not a pedophile. He's here to kick back, relax, and have some fun. Did you bring anything with you tonight? Such as? Condoms? Yes, I did. You did. You brought condoms. So However, you're just going to kick back? This always sort of wish... It makes me wish Chris had shut up at this point. When he's going to see him there with his finger. However, however, however... What, what can you say in response to that? Did you bring condoms? Yes. However... I mean, what what can you say? However, um, I brought them. The only thing that you could say is the defence is um, I brought them. One guy, one predator said this. I brought them to give to her 
so that she's protected in the future. Which is obviously a ridiculous thing to say. However, what else can you say? Yeah, I've brought condoms. And why did the guy admit Later on, the guy speaking to the... He's getting interviewed by police. And when the police said, do you ever have, uh, do you ever use condoms when you have intercourse with your wife? He says, no. Why didn't you just say yes, you total buffoon? Anyway, sorry. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is something that I've never done before. And that's have a look at the chat log from this guy. Uh, so let's, let's see what this guy... Let's see how he sort of... Sorts his prey out. So let's let's have a look at the beginning. Hey, how's it going? It'll be decoy name. Why is the decoy name taken out? Hmm, that's a strange one. I've copied this off the Perverted Justice website. Anyway, I don't suppose it matters, does it? Uh, right, okay. So he's identifying himself. Um, I know we got a big house, so scary... Are you hitting on my young lady? I think he means, are you hitting on me, young lady? So, are you just going to hang alone tonight at home? Yeah, that sucks. You like being alone. Right, excuse me one minute. I'm going to have to take the microphone off and sneeze because this hay fever is doing me any. Sorry about that, guys. Last thing you want to do is listen to me sneezing and sniffling. Sound like Lord, don't I? Anyway, so he's obviously trying to pr pr play or prey on her insecurities here with that she's alone tonight. Uh, perhaps you do need a sitter then. Smile. You're quiet. You need to go. No, I got bots. What well, that means? They make me. Okay, dreams, they suck. God, I hate those on board. Thanks. What do you like to do? Hang out, have a drink, talk, sex, fun, movies, whatever you. See, we're not long in here, are we? And he's already brought up uh, the sex, which obviously suggests what he was up to. You know, there's no, there's not even any question, is it? We're, all, we're only 20 minutes in. You like sex. I done stuff. My boyfriend was older. Uh, he hooked up with my friends, so they both suck. Well, as time goes on, I'm sure you'll come. See how he spelt come there, the dirty bastard. I'm sure you'll come to really love having sex. It rocks. Lol, I bet. I've got to see my ex-friend at school. Sorry, I have to feed my fish. <laughs> uh Want some companies, company tonight? So doesn't waste any time, does it? That'd be cool. You're gonna beat up any bad guys for me. All right. So yeah, I mean the decoys playing the le the decoys trying to lure him in by you know trying to get her to, trying to get him to play the protective type, um, and he's buying straight into it. He's he's not even hesitating in the way he reacted. When he saw Chris, he's never seen that program. He's never even heard of it because he's not even being cautious at all. Uh, would you mind doing? What would you enjoy doing with me? Why? Thank you. So do you? You didn't answer my question. I mean, it's obviously what he's trying to do. He's trying to get her to say, "I want to have sex with you." Uh, Mike's lemonade. <laughs> She's still not coming out with it specifically. Should I come down or not tonight? It's up to you. It's up to both of us, silly. I didn't say you can't, true. So, up to you. Have you got any pics on my prof? You've not got one. So is there not even any profile pictures at this point when he's talking to her? God, that makes him even weirder. So you're a virgin, I take it? Yeah, but I've done other stuff. You want to take the next step? <laughs> How old is this girl pretending to be? Let's have a look. 13. Oh, dirty bastard. Of 
because that is the deepest what doggy I don't got a dog no I mean doggy style having sex you on the pill or anything well at 13 she's highly unlikely to be on the pill he's, 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 oh I'll tell you what he doesn't want to uh, he doesn't waste any time this guy does he so here we're talking about where she is one sex one sec oh god so if you're mad I don't know what's all this about I'm Jim pleased to meet you Jesse Jim as in Jay Rafter I just don't think it would be wise. Now you're just being mean. Oh, come on. No, you're just playing with me. No, not at all. Yeah, you can't. So I think the decoy's trying to sort of do a bit of reverse psychology, trying to lure him in a little bit. Uh, I know what would wind up doing and wouldn't be so wise, babe. I know I'm not a baby. I know, didn't say you were. So you feel like you're just playing with me. Don't feel that way, hod. I'm assuming he means hon. I'm not a player at all, trust me. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't think you are. I don't think that guy could be a player if he tried to be. I enjoy talking to you. You're really cool. Uh, you are right, Jesse. Yeah, you just made me feel bad. Um, So you know textbook chat, however he gets weird with her. While chatting with her, he runs into me. I insult him literally for nine minutes. Straight before I know he's already talked to Lady Baltimore's decoy profile. However, as you'll see, he's more interested in insulting disinterested girl rather than laid the back. Yes, I do, the strange man. Oh, right, okay. Meat Rocket, what is my game? Because I don't even know it. Lol, you're like one of those online freaks. Ah, what the? No, try again. Here, look at my face. Do I look like a freak? Lol, you look like a serial killer. In reality, he looks like a convicted internet predator. Okay, I think I'm done getting beat up. Yeah, go find a stupid chick, lol. God damn, easy. I think you have a lot of anger inside you. <laughs> Why is the uh, decoy playing this particular part? Well, then why the hell are you ripping me to shreds? You're all smarty pants like I can't be smart. Did I say that? No. You see, it's still working, isn't it? If you was, um, if you were getting ripped apart by some 13-year-old on you, online, you'd just be like, right, okay, I've had enough of this shit. Long wouldn't have lasted a second. Nice talking, take care, bye. And here I thought he didn't like me. Lol, later. So he's back on. Hey, sassy. Hey, you. Can you shred me some more? I missed it. <laughs> you see, this is how desperate these people are, isn't it? Um, now, whether the sort of it's just different tactics that the decoy is using, but obviously in this case, it you know, in some with some people, they would run a mile. I mean, literally, if you think, Lorne would be devastated and probably killed himself if Kayla started saying that to him. Well, this guy's back online. Uh, I'm strangely attracted to you. Oh, dear. I'm a computer nerd. Can't you see it? I mean, you're cute in that he's going to chop me up and feed me <laughs> to his bunny wear, lol. No bunny, just fish. Oh, my God. Kind of music. Sarah? There's to Sarah. Come in, Sarah. Well, guess I lost you. Who the fuck's Sarah? I thought it was Jesse. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm getting confused by this chat log. Praying for the old meat rocket. I'm assuming he means his dick, dirty bastard. K 
okay, young player, tell me what you're thinking now. I'm thinking that you're kind of cute in a dirt way. Oh. So is the decoy playing the part that she's sort of getting interested in him now? So he's been talking again for about an hour after he's come on back online for the second time. Uh, I mind condoms or pocket chain. What? You're a virgin, eh? Lol. Yeah, I bet you're scared of that. Why would that scare me? Guys are always scared of that. I find it attractive. I bet you do. There's butterflies in your stomach like mine now. Yeah, but not bad ones. Butterflies. Mm, dirty bastard. Have you ever received oral? Sorry, you're missing out. So I'm assuming that the decoy saying Jessie wasn't my real name with this character that she's playing. Maybe they just play different characters to get people interested. I mean, with Lauren, it was really straightforward, wasn't it? But maybe I think if you've got... Well, I don't think they really need to do that. These guys will go with fucking anything by the sounds of it. I mean, God. Uh I'm bored tonight till my do dog's gone till Monday. You alone? Yeah. Maybe that's why he was a bit surprised when she turned up. When uh, Chris Hansen turned up, he didn't know who it was. So that's it. Not a lot of chat. I mean, it's within the same day. Two separate chats. And he's set off. So let's have a look when the chat started one forty three that day and then he went offline and came back on at five so we had a gap of about an hour and a half didn't we and then he came back online so only in a few hours is set off to meet her. Back and chat, and just in case something happened, you brought condoms. Yeah, I just wanted to talk. I swear. I just wanted to you know, talk. I swear. Condoms in the I wasn't going to use them at all. You got them in your pocket. Well, yeah, I do. You have do them. balloon tricks with them? Or? No. <laughs> Well, come on. I mean, I am be I there's, there's only one reason, typically, that people bring condoms to a home, and that's for protection during sex. Yeah. Do you like to have a drink, like alcohol? Meat Rocket 8 starts to sweat so badly as I read from... You see, <laughs> I mean, it's quite an obvious thing to say, but when you're sweating like that, you've totally lost it. It happened to me a few weeks ago when I was uh, doing a gig, and I've not done one in ages, and uh, <laughs> for the first couple of songs, it was like at my top of my bald head was just like a river and uh, this guy's the same uh, from his online chat log that he asks to take his coat off I'm honoured to be considered the candidate for your first <laughs> look how weird he looks he's got quite a bizarre body structure hasn't he, if you look at him when I he have one daughter off. and two st stepsons from her you have kids yes. how old are your kids I have one daughter and two st stepsons for her. My wife's a kick like alcohol. Meet Rocky. Then I tell him people bring condoms to a home, and that's for protection during sex. Yeah. Do you like to have a drink, like alcohol? Meet Rocket 8 starts to sweat so badly as I read from his online chat log that he asks to take his coat off. I'm honored to be considered the candidate for your first. Look at him. <laughs> Again. Did you see him there? Like, just the way he sort of looks. He's like a proper, like, podgy little guy, isn't he? Let's, uh... Sorry about this, guy. I'm having troubles getting oh. the right frame up. Well, starts to sweat so badly as I read from his online chat log that he asks to take his coat off. I'm honoured to be considered the candidate for... Look at him. He looks like a, car he looks like a cartoon character, doesn't he? The way he's look, he's like really sort of podgy. He's sort of, he's, you know, because there's, because of the way he's, he's got a really sort of, his back melds into his neck. He doesn't seem to have any neck. He's got like a like a textbook haircut. And <laughs> he just looks like a, he just looks like a really bizarre character, doesn't he? 
for your first. <laughs> Again, playful chat. <laughs> playful chat. Well, I don't suppose there's anything else. Hey, playful chat. Good. It sounds like you're excited about the fact that she's a virgin and you might be the first man to have sex with her. Right? Sir, I really wasn't going to. I found out about this guy's conviction because on the Perverted Justice website, um, there wasn't anything there. Uh, it says here, uh, a man arrested after making arrangements to meet a young girl for sex was sentenced yesterday to 30 days in jail and to complete sex offender counselling. So he only got 30 days in jail, this fucker. I bet, no wonder law went nuts, you know. It's one thing about Lord's situation I sort of would be pretty pissed off and I understand his anger is that other predators did pretty much the same as him and got off. Uh, yeah, so he got 30 days in prison. Obviously a sex offender. Uh, 40 hours of community service. And two years community control. Now, I don't know what that means. We don't have that in the UK. Do that. Then I tell him I'm with Dateline. And out come the cameras. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. And he heads for the door. If you have anything else you'd like to say, we'd be happy to hear it. But no one who comes to this house looking for sex with a minor... <laughs> that, always, that, that always gets me. Why do you look back at the camera there? The camera's come out, right? The camera's come out, and he's like, oh, shit, I'm... And it sounds like here. you're excited about the fact that she's a virgin and heads for the door. So he's like, the cameras are out at that point. He's screwed. He thinks, right, I'm off. Wise decision. You know, if you're in that position, do not hang around. So what does he do? He heads for the door. If you have any <laughs> thinking, right. You see, he won't know at this point, right, that there's been hidden cameras, unless Chris has said everything that you've said has been recorded. But you're not going to have time to process it. So you'll probably think, as long as the cameras don't pick on my face, pick up my face, I'm all right. And they're not going to know they're going to get arrested. So what does he do? Heads to the door. Anything else you'd like to say, we'd be happy to hear it. But no one who comes to this house well, looking for sex with a huh? mind. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's funny. It's like, he just... See if I can catch that bit when he just looked back. I'd like to say, we'd be happy to hear it. But no one who comes to this house looking for sex with a mind. <laughs> The camera's biting right in his face and he looks back. You'd just leg it, wouldn't you? What a moron. Uh. There will get very far. He's coming around, guys. Perverted Justice has been sending the sexually explicit online chat logs between its decoys and the potential predators to the Dark Spider County Man, Sheriff's Department. And because it's a crime to show up after Kidding, soliciting Mike, sex online with a mind. What good does he think legging it's going to do? You're either going to get caught by the cops or you're not. If the TV crew's in there, they're not going to... Saying that though, I don't suppose that he'd do any yeah, arm legging it, would he? Meat Rocket 8 gets arrested. Oh, oh life's up. over. And taken for questioning, where his story continues. Do you normally wear condoms while you're having sexual intercourse with your wife? No. Why? Okay. What Why did you buy the condoms Why today? Why did you say that? Um, we're not going to go into that because we've got, I know we've got the full. We've got the full police footage, haven't we, of Jay Refner? So, uh, guys, I'm sorry about the A fever and the sniffling. Many apologies. If anybody wants to hear my take on the full police interview or the full police footage that we've got, all this, uh, I might do an analysis of it. If anybody wants to hear it, just let me know. Uh, and cheers, guys. See you later.